All right, I'm coming back to my measurement chart to talk about one uh, little thing here about measurement. You notice that with the great amount that we needed to move, that it wasn't exactly four. It was actually that we needed to increase the hip by 4.382, or almost uh, 0.4 inches extra is needed and we're actually going to increase it to 2 plus 2 being 4 and we're not doing the 0.382 so it might cause a little bit of tightness in the hip. Now this is a very small amount and so it probably will not make a big difference but for the sake of argument let me just show you how to adjust. You're going to adjust it before you actually grade your pattern. So I first take that amount, that 0.382, that extra that I need, and I'm going to divide it by 4. So if I kind of round it and I did 0.4 and I divided that by 4, again we have 4 seam allowances, I want to increase my hip by 0.1. And if I'm looking at my waist here, my waist is actually going to be graded slightly larger than I need because I'm using a two inch grade. I'm going two sizes, half inch at the waist. And so I actually am 0.112 too large. And again, such a, a minor little amount, but just for the sake of showing you how to move points just a little bit, I'm going to uh, show you how to adjust. So we need to subtract for the waist and add to the hip. So let's go out to Tukatek. Okay, so here we are in uh, Tukatek, and I want to first zoom in very close on my side seams. Again, I'm just going to adjust it at the side seams. So at the waist, I'm going to move in the amount, and remember that it was point one one two too large. If I take the point one one two uh, too large, I'm getting just under point uh, zero three. So I'm going to move points on the front here for point zero three. Now, the waist is on an angle, so I'm just going to leave uh, the amount for the waist because it, the pattern itself is on an angle. You can go ahead and click on OK. So I adjusted that just slightly. And so I made my waist just slightly smaller. Uh, again to fit. Now for the hip line here, I'm going to move out my point. In other words, I didn't grade it enough. I'm missing that 0.382. If I divide that by 4, I'm getting 0.1. So again, I'm going to take my point and click, and I want it to be 0.1. Now, I don't want the x to actually uh, move in this case. So x would be 0 and 0 0.1 for y. So we just have moved out the amount here. Again, x is going to be 0 and y is going to be 0 0.1. So I just adjusted uh, my pattern just slightly. And you may have to be a little picky and smooth out or true the hip line if it doesn't look curved. So that just shows you about adjusting a little bit of the waist and the hip. Now one last step is that when I do that, see how my line is crooked and because I, I had kind of moved it out but it's uh, and so it's not aligned. So I want to come to my hem, and I'm going to use the select tool, 
go to point and I'm going to select my two points here go to point and go to align points and so because I moved it out again it's a little bit crooked I'm going to align them or do like just a straight edge and make it straight and I'm going to do the same now remember to keep in mind that Tukatek is thinking in a clockwise direction so I just selected clockwise but when I do the align points it's going to ask from the first or the last well the first point was at the hem the second point was at the hip I added to the hip so if I align from the hem then I'm just going to reverse what I had tried to do of, of adding to the hip line so I need to pay attention as to which point I'm actually adjusting so I want it to be from the last first last so I want it to be the last and I'll be straight down from the hip and go ahead and click on uh, horizontal and then it brings out that hip line slightly so there you have a little bit of pattern tweaking and you are ready then to do your braiding whether it is a one inch or a two inch grade so tweak the pattern first then do the pattern braid